Have you ever played a game that wasn't what you expected, but you ended up having a really fun time with it? You know, that kind of game that has a certain vibe to it, something that might not be pretty or even have the best gameplay, but it just tickles that part of your brain and gives you the right amount of wacky moments and fan service. For me, Yakuza is a series that comes to mind because it has so much to love. You can play it for the story, for the fights, for the mini games, or even the It's like those developers mix together a Japanese soap drama with action-packed battles and so many random yet memorable sub-stories. You get a good idea of the fun that goes into making a series like Yakuza because plots bounce back and forth between serious and joyful. And I'd say that it's games like that that show the true passion and dedication behind them. And the game that we're talking about today takes that same kind of love and puts it in a small but very challenging package. But first I gotta say thank you to 1101 Industries for the review code. You guys made this video happen much sooner than it normally would and that is just awesome. Wanted Dead follows a team of ex-military members who are locked up for various war crimes. This team is now tasked with uncovering a major corporate conspiracy that leads to fighting mercenaries, gang members, and androids. And all of this takes place in the cyberpunk aesthetic of Hong Kong. You play as Lieutenant Hannah Stone, the leader of this team called Zombie Unit, and you fight through levels alongside the other very colorful members of your team like Herzog, who has a deep love for ramen. Jesus fucking Christ, you're an animal. No, Stone, I'm a gourmet. Or Cortez, the silent but deadly badass who always comes in clutch. And finally, you have Doc, who's obviously the doctor of the team. And you'll be seeing him quite a lot whenever he brings you back to life, so get nice and comfortable with him. Every chapter takes you through the city and throws you into merciless battles. But outside of those battles, you'll also have sections where you can have some fun with the team. Playing retro games, dancing, eating ramen, and especially using the crane game. There is a lot of extra stuff in here that adds to the whole experience while giving the team members more of a personality. 1101 stated that this game is a super hard callback to the earlier generations of gaming. Back when games like Ninja Gaiden would have me throwing my controller clear across my house in frustration. Believe me, this game has plenty of challenges to it. Even if you're just playing on the normal difficulty, you'll be met with hordes of enemies surrounding you in every level. But what makes this game so hard is that you have to plan your approaches carefully. With checkpoints being scarce in parts of the levels, you have to manage the ammo you have and the weapon upgrades you equip. Most of the time, you'll be encouraged to use your sword. That's the easy way to both cut down enemies and build up the gauge for your bullet time technique. And that's basically your special attack that leaves your enemies wide open for executions. And oh boy, there are a ton of flashy executions that you can pull off. But outside of just using your sword, you also have a handgun and a machine gun at your disposal. Now the handgun is a little bit odd because it's meant to both stun your enemies and to use alongside your sword combos. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't also use it to just straight up shoot dudes to death, but it does take a while if you choose to do that. But that's when your machine gun comes in handy so you can mow down people really quickly. Am I saying that right? Is it is a machine gun or assault rifle? Anyways, when you're faced with a horde of these tougher sword enemies, it was much easier to just gun them down than to parry all their attacks. They may have practiced the blade, but it won't stop us from turning them into Swiss cheese. You'll also pick up a third kind of weapon from enemies like a submachine gun, a grenade launcher, or even a chainsaw. Finding a good balance between all your attacks is the key to success in these hard fights. It did feel challenging, but it's definitely fair enough, which is awesome coming from some of the same devs that used to make Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. Now, I will admit it's not the most expansive with combat, especially compared to other recent hack and slash games, but it's a great experience all the way through. It doesn't try too hard to add some crazy new mechanics, but it makes good use of the basics. If there was one part about Wanted Dead that I would criticize, it's the dialogue. But your shit was the last drop. My shit? 
I gotta admit, the voice acting is a little weak. Now, I normally don't care about that sort of thing, but it's fairly obvious from the jump. What in the world happened here? Standard police procedure? You know, Cap? Some lines feel like they could have a stronger delivery since some of the jokes sound a bit deadpan compared to what you'd expect. But hey, I can't be too hard on the voice actors since it's possible that English isn't their first language. The developers are located in Switzerland, so I'd imagine the voice actors could also be Swiss. Honestly, if you look at it in the same way that you look at something like The Room, then it adds a little bit of charm. It's bullshit, I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. That extra personality that comes off as being just a little bit weird, but also refreshing. And I can't say it's on purpose, but the rest of the game does have that tongue-in-cheek kind of vibe. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was done on purpose, since it does add that personality that doesn't feel super cheap. The point is that Wanted Dead is a passion project made by a team that wanted to capture the aesthetic of things that weebs like me just love. Like having a crane mini game that I spent far too much time on. Was that needed? No. But that's the kind of thing I'd throw into a game of my own just because it's a fun touch. Going back to Yakuza, if you've played that series, you know that in between every deep and heartfelt chapter is some kind of brothel dating simulator or a sub story where you fight grown ass dudes dressed as babies. It takes itself seriously to a point, but leaves enough room to enjoy it for more than just the heavy plot. When games create these stories that take themselves too seriously, it does feel like the writers try too hard to immerse you. And in the process, they forget that they need to hold your attention for 15 plus hours. And personally, I already hate watching three hour movies as it is, so why put me through a long game about Scrimblo Bimblo looking for the magic MacGuffin? Because if the experience ain't worth your time, none of that extra shit would even matter and that is the major point about what it did. The dialogue may not be top notch like some major studios, but these devs know exactly what to do to keep you interested. Like for example, every time I saw that loading screen that is literally just a copy of this meme, it makes me laugh and I love that. Most larger studios would never lean into memes as hard, but it's what so many of us get a kick out of. Or even this scene where Stone gets out of this ridiculously tiny cop car that looks like something from Initial D. Or even when you stumble into an anime style cutscene that gives you backstory on some of the characters. Things like this are just a bit out of place, but are actually interesting to see them add. Long story short, Wanted Dead isn't a perfect game when you match it against something like Hogwarts Legacy, but it does show off the energy of the developers who made it and gives you a fun time all the way through. Even when the levels are tough as nails and you want to give up, you come back ready to take on that challenge again and tackle it much smarter than the first time. It's truly a love letter to action fans everywhere in a game that's worth checking out for yourself. So let me know what you think of When It Dead in the comments. I'd love to hear all your thoughts, opinions, and questions. Also, thank you again to 1101 Industries for providing a review copy of this game, because you guys are some real ones. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you all in the next video.